it's it's interesting, you know. Shout out to you guys. Y'all might not know who I am. I'm, a, I'm the lead attorney. I'm a 20 year divorce attorney down here in Atlanta, Georgia. My whole adult career, I've been dealing with these issues of uh, parenting and divorce and alimony. So it's interesting to hear how you guys talk about it. Destiny, one of the things that I hear you, um, you know, it's it it seems that you're pretty persuasive when you talk about these studies and things like that. And I understand the the impetus to really look for hard data when you talk about things. And generally, I think that's very important. But when you start talking about data for these types of issues, uh, the reason why people get divorced, the reason why people have children, things of that nature, how many people cheat, um, when you rely on this self-reporting, it's, it's amazing how unreliable the data is. And so I don't, I don't know if you can really quote any study um, that that would be conclusive on these issues. You know, what do you think would be a better metric, in your opinion? Well, that's the issue, right? Because you certainly don't want to rely on uh, anecdotal evidence, right? But relying on self-reported studies is crazy. And I can tell you that as a 20-year attorney, having to talk to women and men about their relationships, I mean, you can you can ask somebody how much they make and maybe they'll tell you the truth. You know, maybe if you have to look at their W-2s, judges don't even believe people when they tell them how much they make. Like judges insist on taxes, insist on W-2s, insist on 1099s. So if you have these studies that don't insist on anything, <laughs> like there's no reason to rely on those at all. I, I, then, so, what, then do we just make up whatever reason like fits like the YouTube channel narrative more or what I don't know what I don't know how, what I'm supposed to do that like we use self reporting for like crime victimization is on self reporting like we use self reporting for a lot of studies in psychology I, like I guess do we just throw all of that out I, I agree with you that there might be some limitations in the data but I mean like if you do study after study after study and there's trend after trend after trend and you can't find like any other explanatory thing for why people report the things they do I mean at some point it's like okay well self reporting is kind of the only way you know, to go forward other than well, stories. I mean, you can say that self-reporting is the best that we have, but that doesn't mean that it's accurate at all. That doesn't mean that it's deserving to be relied upon. You can just say, hey, this is all we got. You know, back in the, back in 2000 BC, you know, hey, religion, that's all we got. So we're going to rely on that and fine. Well, but, to that know, point. Maybe there's this thing called gravity. Maybe there's this thing called, you know, astrophysics. Maybe there, there are things going on that we don't know yet. And so that's what I'm telling you. Like judges don't even rely on the stuff that you guys are talking about. Not you guys. I'm talking about uh, destiny specifically with these studies. Well, for wait, hold on. For me specifically, income was not. I don't think that was. I don't actually know if it was self-reported. Are you saying that they're lying about their income on the on the studies? Are they showing the the scientists or who the data collectors their W twos and their taxes? Or are they just are they telling them? Do you make between fifty and seventy five thousand? Do you make between seventy five thousand and a hundred? Are they just typing that into their their keypad on their phone? Because um, even I, I mean, my guess is going to be it's self-reported, but like so you, even so we so attorneys, you, even we attorneys, we don't even believe our own fucking clients to be. I don't know. If I okay, hold, you're comparing an attorney to a study is a totally different thing, though, right? You're it's litigating not, a specific, because it's all data collection. No, 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 no. It's not data collection. You're not collecting data as an attorney. You're getting specific information about a specific case. That's data. Right? <laughs> Yeah, but, but 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 when you're trying to make a case, I don't know if you do if you're a trial attorney or what, but like when you're trying to make a case in front of a judge and the judge is asking you like, did your client cheat on his wife? Like you would never respond to it. Well, forty seven percent of clients do. No, of course not. You're doing like a case study when you when you're doing like that's what an attorney does is case studies. Like the whole discovery process is collecting data about one particular case. Right. Or maybe you'll bring in an expert witness for random shit. But like, it's not the same as like talking in a scientific manner or in a sociological manner, but like, here's like data across the society. So, yeah, I would expect like a judge to be using more specific stuff where they're going to subpoena shit and everything, or they're going to have like more specific stuff to one case. But that's because you're arguing about one particular person, not an entire field. Yeah. But the entire field is made up of each individual case study, if you want to call it that, Destiny. That's all it, that's all data is. It's just a collection of, of individual case studies, if you want to call it that. That's all it is. Like you're elevating it to something higher than what it really is. I think there's a, to, to defend destiny. I think having relying on hard data, that's that's a very healthy thing to do because you know you well. For let the me most jump part, in. I mean, let me jump in though because you said to defend destiny. I don't know if you heard when I first began. 
I said that there's a reason to, to try to rely on this stuff. Uh, you know, I love relying on, on science. That's what we should rely on. My point, TFM, is that there are going to be certain areas where just the data is inconclusive. The data is not going to be there. I, I but agree. I, I, and, I, totally, I totally am in favor of the scientific method. I think it's awesome. For more awesome videos, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and click that bell for notification because you don't want to miss what we have coming next.